Captivate 9, a new action is introduced for advanced actions to delay the next action or a set of actions by a defined wait time in seconds. Let's take a look at how we can use this particular functionality in our courses. In this Captivate project, notice that on the timeline, we have these four objects that appear one after the other based on the slide audio. Now let's see how we can initiate this cycle on a click of a button. So if you want a button like this to be clicked to begin the conversation, we can use the delay action along with the other actions to make this happen effectively. Let's go ahead and recreate that screen over here. So first I'll go ahead and add an empty shape. So I'll just create a rectangle here and for that rectangle I will change the size of that rectangle to 1024 by 627 which is the size of this slide. So I'll go to the properties inspector and under options I'll go ahead and uncheck constraint proportions and I will enter 1024 for the width and 627 for height. Then I'll set the x coordinate to 0 and y to 0 so that it sticks to the top left corner. Now let's do some formatting changes for it. We don't want any stroke for it so we'll go ahead and set it as 0 and we will change the opacity percentage to 0% so that we can see everything clearly. This is just a placeholder uh, object that we are adding and then we will be adding the S1, S2, S3, S4 states to it. To add states to this particular object I'll just go to the state view and here I'll go ahead and add a new state by clicking new state. Let's name this as S1 and click OK. Here I'll go ahead and add an image here for S1. So let's look for that image in the library. I'll go to scene 1 and drag it to the stage. Let's go ahead and change its X and Y coordinates to 0, 0. I'll just go ahead and enter 0 for X value and for Y as well so that it sticks correctly to the top left corner and now I will go and simply right click it and duplicate the state so that I don't have to do a lot of stuff. So I'll just go ahead and name this as S2 and click OK and then I'll go ahead and select this image and click the scene1.png button and select scene2.png image. That's a super simple way to replace images in Captivate. Now I'll go ahead and add S3 and S4 states as well. Now let's go ahead and click exit state. Let's do one more thing. We'll go ahead and place this button which is the begin conversation button on the top of the stack so that it doesn't get hidden in the states. Now let's go ahead and assign some advanced action to this button. So we'll go to the actions tab and here instead of go to the next slide let's go ahead and select execute advanced action. And here for script, we'll go ahead and click this folder icon to write our brand new advanced action. So I'll go and click this button, name this action as conversation and then start writing the action. So the first thing I want to do on click of this button is to disable this button so that the cycle is not interrupted. For that, we'll go ahead and write the first line which is disable button 1. Now we will let Captivate know to play the audio. So we'll just uh, add that audio over here instead of adding it to the slide. So here we will select play audio and then we will select the audio file and click OK. Now we will start changing the state of this particular empty smart shape that we added. So we'll just go ahead and select change state of and then we will select smart shape 2 and S1. Okay, so that's the state. And after that, we want it to play for some time. So the duration after which the next state should appear is 1.5 seconds. So let's go ahead and add a delay here, which is the new action. So I'll just select delay next action by. Here you can select either variable or a literal value. I'll just go ahead and select a literal value of 1.5 seconds. And then I will go and add the next states and the easiest way to do that is I'll just go ahead and shift select these two uh, lines of the script I'll copy them go to the third line paste it then paste it two more times now uh, the second one we have to change this to s2 the third one will be s3 and the fourth one will be s4 
For the second delay, the duration has to be 11.2 seconds. I've timed that already. And the third one should be 3.5 seconds. And the fourth one has to be 7 seconds. After this, we have to change the state of this object to normal. So let's copy this particular line one more time. I'll go ahead and click copy. Come to this line and paste it. And here, instead of S4, it should go back to normal. And here, remember, we disabled this button. So it's time to enable this button so that next time when you click it, it starts playing the conversation again. So let's go ahead and select enable here and button one. And we are all set. Now we'll go ahead and click Save as Action and click OK and close this dialog. Let's play this and see if it's working fine. I'll go to Preview and from this slide. Here you can notice that nothing happens till I go and click the Begin Conversation button. When I click it... Hey, Philip, what's up? Lydia, we have a problem. We have to send these photos to the client in less than 30 minutes. But I know for a fact they will not want this boat in the background because it's a visual distraction from their furniture. I didn't even notice it there. I'll get to work on it right away. Great. Remember, we only have 30 minutes. Try using the healing brush in Lightroom. That should take care of it. And you can see it goes back to the normal state. And now let me switch off the audio here and click begin conversation again. And you can see that it starts playing all over again and you can play it as many number of times as you want. So go ahead and use the delay action in advanced actions to create your stunning interactions.